robots, it seems, are alive and kicking in the French city of Lyon. That's host to Europe's Innovation Robotics Summit. Now, the new generation of mechanical creatures not only show their impressive capacity to serve humans, they also look like us. Now, experts say they will be soon populating our homes, hospitals, schools, cities, you name it. Our correspondent in France, Constantino de Miguel, sent us this report. Robots are in very good shape. This market will reach $100 billion by 2020. Service robots like this Korean assistant will be the most popular at home, in the office or in public spaces. A takeoff made possible by advances in artificial intelligence and improvements in the man-machine relationship. If you want to communicate, the first thing you do is make eye contact with another person. So we have the infrared depth sensor so that this robot can detect the presence of other people, make eye contact with them, and start some conversation. Uh, we're building in also gender recognition. He will recognize whether you're male, female, whether you're happy or sad. We're still very far from Star Wars, although this humanoid is very close to C-3PO. It's now an incomplete prototype, but someday it could perform protocol and communication tasks. This robot, which is half of a human being, we have copied all of the human form replace muscles with motors and actuators. Uh, we have 54 degrees of movement, uh, which is exceptional for this, this sort of robot, but also poses certain questions, how do we control it? Animatronics made in China. Plio from Involabs is a pet dinosaur full of sensors and sophisticated software. It can learn from its environment, is able to interact with humans, and can develop its own, if we may say so, personality. He has all uh, well, the cute stuff you can expect from a pet. He loves to be cuddled, he loves to be uh, well hugged, he loves uh, well when you take care of him, you see that he really likes it. Faithful and multifunctional companions that can improve our lives by taking risks for us or just doing painful chores. Robots are no more science fiction, but they will be accepted by people in their everyday life if we succeed in mixing 